What's up guys, so do you focus on product orders when doing product research on AliExpress? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're doing everything wrong. I see a lot of gurus on AliExpress, a lot of dropshippers on sh on YouTube, showing that you know the best way to find a winning product is to go to AliExpress, find a product on your niche or any even every like just simply any product then see the orders and if they have a lot of orders in the last three days was a winning product but that's not the case guys a lot of the products that are, you have a lot of orders on aliexpress are in fact saturated so in this video i'm going to show you how i actually find products and how actually after watching this video you're going to have a better higher chance of finding multiple winning products now remember the first product that i actually sold was had 24 orders on aliexpress that was really cool because i actually can actually tell that that product was not saturated at all now let me tell you an example for example if i go to here aliexpress and i go for example that's a lot of people teach i go for example this product i put like watches uh or for example cell phones let me just go to watches mouth clothing i'm gonna put watches so also guys what i would like you to do is guys tell me someone that you actually seen on youtube that shows this strategy someone that just tells you you know what the best way to find product is going to aliexpress I don't know if this sounds familiar to you guys. All right, let me let me just go right here and do a um, imitation. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna act like a fake guru. What's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find a winning product. Uh, so what you gotta do is probably I wanna see this product, and we're gonna go out right now to uh, product details. And what we're gonna do is go here on orders. And what I wanna see right now is that I see that there's orders today. I go to the second page. I see more orders. I go to third page, more orders today. I go to fourth page, more orders today. So guys, that's a winning product. Uh, I hope you give me a thousand dollars for my course because I just told you right now how to find a winning product. Okay guys, if that sounds familiar, please go in the comments and say what YouTuber, I don't know, I mean there could be multiple, what YouTuber does that remind you of? You know, a YouTuber that just go to AliExpress and be like, you know, bro, I'm going to show you how to find a winning product. So stay tuned to what the video. Just go to here. Oh, we have orders one day. We have four pages of orders on AliExpress. So that guarantees that that product is going to be a killer. Well, guys, like I told you, my, one of my first winning products had 24 sales on AliExpress. Now, I'm going to show you how I did it, how do I structure my product research, and how do I actually know the product is going to sell before I even test it. So... What different things that I do when I actually find a niche is first of all, I pick a niche. If you want to know how to pick a profitable niche, go to my videos. I'm going to leave in the description how to find a profitable niche. Just follow four steps, okay? So I, after I find my niche, what I actually do is I know my audience. What I do is I go to Facebook groups. I go to the audience of the world. Everyone, everywhere that I can find my audience, I go into. And I listen to what they need. So instead of just going like and trying to sell a product and put you down their throat, what I do is what's called marketing 3.0. I know I go to an audience, so I choose an audience. So just choose an audience. That's really key, guys. Choose a niche. And once I choose that niche, when I decided to go to that niche and I know who I want to target, what I do is I want to know them as much as possible. Because remember, as I said, you can quote me on this. Know your audience like nobody else. So you can be able to sell them like nobody else. So what I do then is actually see what they're actually more likely to buy, what they're asking for. So let me just give you an example. Imagine I'm on the baby niche. And in fact, I'm in a city that a lot of people have mosquito problems, right? They're, I'm on a particular city that on summer, or I know there's different cities specifically on the, in the United States that that has a lot of lot of mosquitoes outside. So what I'm gonna do is like, okay, what I'm gonna find a a product that solves their problem. So I'm gonna put like baby uh, baby net, right? And instead of just going and trying to sell a dog leash that has a, multiple orders, I try to sell something like this. See the orders a little bit more conservative. That means, and even if I search by orders, I'm gonna probably see the best one. It has 700. It doesn't have like 24,000. That means it is a product that people want. It has a lot of good reviews. But I can. So what I would do in my Facebook ads targeting, I would really target by demographics. What I would target also like by geographically. I'm sorry. I would target those particular cities, and I would do like uh, you know a radius of people, particularly in that country that has more mosquitoes. And if I don't know. Well, I could just go here and find, you know, most uh, mosquitoes, I don't know, mosquitoes in U.S., right? Something like that. Oh, guys, I'm going to write really fast. Mosquitoes. Okay, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. So this is with large mosquitoes. Let me just write it correctly. Mosquitoes. U.S. Most mosquitoes, cities in the U.S. Always like that. Okay. New list with 
plagued by mosquitoes. So just give you an example, funny example. I'm go right here, and I'm not saying this product is like wow, the winner because it's going to be seasonal depending on summer because obviously it's going to be for summer. But I can see Pittsburgh and all this, and, and maybe I can actually show a video through that. So the the point of this video, guys, is that I'm going to show you. For example, you see the thumbnail, right? In a thumbnail, I show a clothes of a baby. So instead of going like baby clothing, what I'm going to do is put baby clothes and I found, for example, one that was for Mickey Mouse. So for example, this one, right? Or Mickey Mouse. I'm going to find clothing Mickey Mouse. So what I do, guys, is a reverse engineer marketing strategy. So I first find a niche and then I see what they're likely to buy. So for example, what if I know a lot about audience, or in fact myself, I'm a parent that loves Mickey Mouse, I love Disney, I love all those stuff. Well, it's just kind of trying to sell something or a baby product that has multiple sales. I want you to also to leave in the comments, guys, video titles, all right? And also leave in the comments, what YouTuber do you think is doing something like that? Like just actually showing fake uh, methods to find winning products, all right? Uh, we're not gonna tell nobody, guys, just leave in the comments. Also, guys, I'm going to pick two comments for a 15 free uh, coaching call on next video. So um, we're going to see right here. So, for example, this piece. This piece has 21 orders. In fact, I don't want to find one that has more orders right now. For example, if I put like baby clothes, Mickey Mouse. And I'm going to see one that I like more. Or you know what? I'm going to put baby uh, Mickey Mouse pajama, right? Pajama. And I'm gonna find something that I do like, that are personally I am searching for. So, for example, if I find something like this, and it has like, for example, 14. I don't, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't trust that the the amount of orders. But the one I saw, I don't know where I found the one that I found in the thumbnail. But for example, baby pajamas. And the one in the thumbnail is a product that a lot of people would like because they're a fan of Disney. So what I would do is go to Facebook and target people that are. Uh, newly born like new parents and then I would also narrow it down with Mickey Mouse with Disney with I don't know all these uh, Disney characters so that way I could be more specific and I'm showing people what they actually want instead of just trying to sell something that is really saturated to everyone and at the end of the day nobody's gonna want or it's already a saturated product remember not because it has a lot of orders you have a lot of sales now this video I'm giving you a lot of ideas because there's multiple ideas you can actually find. For example, what if I, let's just right now, I'm gonna think on the spot. Okay, I'm, I'm completely honest. I'm not going to say something that I already thought before. Okay, so imagine that, I don't know, let me just find a niche, all right? I'm gonna do the process, passionate. I don't know, for example, I'm not gonna say cooking, that's a little bit too, like everyone says that. Um, like for example, Okay, I'm super, I'm, okay, there's a show, I, okay, there's a uh, show on Netflix called, uh, what's it called, from this Chinese girl that likes to order stuff, it's a uh, Maria Kondo, yeah, I think that was the one, so it's, it's really cool, so in that program, uh, there's obviously the people that watch this like stuff, like to, uh, you know, accommodate, and, and Maria Kondo is, is a girl, like, let me go right here, my, uh, let me go right here. You're gonna see it. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a series of a girl that orders everything, right? So she folds everything in boxes. She's really organized. She's like minimalistic. She wants to, and she goes to people's houses and she shows them how to fold them. I right? fold uh, clothes. Amazing. So for example, instead of just trying to sell, what if, what if she tells you how to fold this? Now she shows you how you can actually separate it. It's really cool. I even I do this myself now. I separate myself like that. It's really organized. It really helps me on productivity. Even my boxers are like that. I'm being honest, guys. I have my boxers separate like that. Just take one away, take one, and it's really cool. It's really useful to have things done quick. So, for example, what if I say organizer, right? Organizer uh, for clothes. And I know my audience. Instead of just trying to sell something, I do what's called marketing 3.0. I know my audience. And then what I do is because I know these people are organized and I've just watched the pro, I can I know that I can even target those people through Facebook ads. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target those people that just watch the series. They're all pumped up because they're like, wow, I really want to be organized, just like my condo. So I'm like, oh, you want to be organized? I'm gonna show you an ad and a product and a tool that is gonna help you be more organized. So I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna put right now, let me see if I can find even particular products that people would likely to search for Marie Kondo. And now let me see right now. So I don't know, but let me see clothes organizer. And I'm gonna see if I can find something like that. 
Okay, so for example, something like this. She shows that you what would you like to put is put away stuff and everything, and also separating categories of your clothes. For example, for summer or winter, put it aside where you're not gonna use. So if I start selling, like for example, a whole store on organizing stuff, well, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have also I'm gonna be targeting a brand side. Like I'm gonna be actually well known for a business and a store, an online store that just helps you be organized. So I could be like organize um organize today.com, right? So imagine I create a site, I just made that up, I just created that right now, organize.com, and I can help you and I sell all the tools for, so I already know there's a big group of people that like those products and I can actually test, I can actually be go to groups and say, hi, guys, would you like to buy this? Would you need this? And, I, and depending on the engagement, will I sell? Instead of just going and what fake gurus are showing you, uh, you know, what go to buy order. So I just want to make this point really key. And I'm not saying all products that have a lot of sales are saturated. No, that's not the, that's not the case. But just being, you know, just, you know, deciding by orders, by AliExpress orders, when you're doing your product research for your Shopify drop shipping store is a complete bad, bad idea. If you really want to be successful doing drop shipping on Shopify, you definitely have to go and follow criteria besides orders. Even in fact, like I told you, one of my first winning products had 24 orders. Now, don't trust, trust a lot of products that have little orders if they're not top brands. So when I do, for example, if I go to, for example, uh, baby pajamas, what I'm gonna do is not only go to see if they have like few orders or something like that. Let me see a product that has doesn't have a lot of orders, but has good products. Okay, but has top is a top brand. Let me see. Let me see. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna, okay. So something that you can do just because I want to make this video really really useful for you guys. For example, if you put like baby, just baby. I'm gonna show you another tactic to find winning products. And you see a product that you like, not necessarily has to be one particular one. And for example, I'm gonna put Numis. And wait, let me see. I want to find just one baby clothes. Okay, I'm gonna go baby clothes, which is a market, guys. You can also use. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to find one product that I do like. I don't know. One product that I they think could work. Okay, I don't know. Okay, don't worry, guys. I mean, I just want to make an idea. So, for example, I'm going to use this one. It has too many orders for what I want, but it's just an example, okay? So, I'm going to put, like, uh, baby, baby suit, okay? I'm going to put, like, baby suit. I'm going to, I can even target people for a, uh, for a wedding, right? Baby suit, wedding, right? I, I mean, that's another product I could sell that's really different. Imagine you create a whole store on products for, uh, wedding so you you're for kids right so that could be a really good uh market so for example i'm just going to give you an example so i'm going to go right here for this one for example and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to go directly to their store so i'm going to go directly to the store that i found and i'm going to see top selling or any arrivals or anything, and i'm going to actually in, uh, incorporate to my store products that I do like. So if I see that I'm creating a good branding and I'm actually following, you know, the criteria that I actually showed you in my, in my videos and you see there's products that are selling and you can actually want to create a brand or hold something around that, well, then you can go here and you what you're going to do is actually incorporate all these products and you have, you're going to, you, all your store is going to look so symmetric because it's going to be from the same store. And if I go, for example, new arrivals, I'm going to see a lot of products that I can actually try. Okay, I'm probably not going to use these because not because I'm racist or about China, Chinese kids are really cute, but because I don't want my clothes to seem like they're from China. So definitely uh, these models are, are, are obviously from uh, China, but I want them to really think that it's from US shipped. And obviously I'm going to make more videos on how you can actually ship faster and everything. So that's, I just wanted to get that point straight. Also something that you didn't, you need to understand and that it really depends on the marketing strategy. Guys, so I would like you to go to this video, watch the whole video on free course, Shopify dropshipping in 2019. And also check this video out because this video is going to show you how to actually structure all my branding. It's a free course, like a free mini course. And also guys, if you go right here and you get this free bonus uh, trial, you're going to get a lot of bonuses. Just go click this link right here. Click it, this one right here. That's going to be the first link on my description. Click it, you're going to get bonuses. Plus, I'm going to show you the exact marketing strategy. If you use that link, you can DM me after you have all your stores set up. And we can actually, uh, I'm going to DM you. I'm going to tell you the best marketing strategy because remember, the marketing strategy will depend on what product and what niche you are on. It does the same marketing strategy will not work exactly for each product, each store, each audience. So remember, guys, know your artist like nobody else. Do the reverse engineer. 
and do what's called marketing 3.0 know your audience and then actually sell them what they already want because that's gonna be uh, help you be more cost effective on terms of marketing and budget and Facebook ads because you're already gonna show them what they want so for example if you want to sell people that love tools maybe there's a tool that a lot of people that follow an influencer or someone want to buy that my store can provide because it's not a tool you can find right there it's a personalized tool or something like that for example yesterday I bought a tool Craig mini I don't know if it's on Aliexpress but I bought it from Amazon because it's own, they only sell it right there. I, I, I didn't know where else to find it. So, for example, if I'm, I'm seeing this sort of videos, or for example, Marie Kondo, <clears throat> same thing, right? I'm going to show them things that they want to like. So that's a different strategy that's going to help you long term because you're going to actually send people. You're going to know your audience. Always collect emails, guys, so you can actually be able to retarget. So do all those stuff. Remember, don't be fooled by the people that just say go to orders, sell watches, or go sell this product, go this the dog leash because it happens to 20 million orders. That is not going to work. In fact, like I'm telling you, most of the products are saturated products. So, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to get this point right, you know, straight because I know a lot of people. That's going to help a lot of people. So, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you want to join uh, your 14-day free Shopify trial, so you're going to get two weeks of free trial with a lot of bonuses, click the link on my description so I can give you a marketing strategy and a free video audit completely free once your store is ready to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. Check the, the, the links on my description. You want to find, you know, the tools, the best tools that I've used that help me, um, you know, get results. And also, I'm going to actually drop future videos. Remember, two comments are going to get free 15-minute coaching calls. And also, title right, uh, comment down below what videos you like to see. I'll see you in the next video. Don't be fooled by the gurus, guys. And bye-bye. Uh,